Uh, hello, I'm AJ Biswas. I'm the gameplay engineer and programmer for Project Eureka for the port. I have been uh, getting all of the systems that we had in our version of the project that was actually in the Unity engine up until recently uh, into the uh, O3D engine. Uh, I've also got like a level streaming system, like uh, loading in levels dynamically as the player plays throughout the game, and various other small things like uh, interaction systems, extending functionality of uh, C++ components that I create such that they are able to be interacted with from script canvas and that's done via uh, creating nodes that can be uh, interacted with and utilized in script canvas uh, that other team members can use which is something that we've been doing to be able to implement audio systems uh, and uh, different sound effects and music. My name is Aiden Roberts, I am the lead sound designer and voice actor. So far for the porting, I have been revamping a few of the sound effects as well as picking up wise for the first time. I have been delivering a few of the voice lines and really just picking up O3D's engine. I'm Liam Alexiu. I'm the 3D artist and art lead on the uh, State of Matter project. I'm looking forward to fleshing out the other levels because by the time I'm finished making everything, it will feel a little bit more like people live there. I'm Tyler Lynch and I'm a gameplay programmer on State of Matter. It's definitely been a learning experience, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's a very powerful tool, especially the eBus system, and I'm looking forward to continuing to work with it. There's a lot of help to be had from the O3D Discord, and that has been a big help in making sure that the porting process goes as smoothly as possible. My name is Kenny Rossi. I am the creative lead for State of Matter. Um, in terms of my daily, like, main responsibilities, it is level design and narrative design. The coolest thing that I've done so far has been messing around with uh, Script Canvas. When I was in charge of trying to take the cutscene that we had at the end of our level and porting that over, and I found that it was quite intuitive. I'm <laughs> incredibly excited to have been, have been able to take this project um, from its somewhat humble beginnings to where it is now.